Evercore's Mark Mahaney says most of big tech is actually trading at a very attractive valuation right now, joins us to discuss his top picks. Mark, first, tell me how you reached that conclusion, how you're thinking that valuations are looking good right now. Well, multiples across at least the Internet space have been cut in half. Now they um, overrated at the, uh, in uh, 2021, so they deserved, in hindsight, a, a derating this year. But uh, forward multiples have gone from something like 24, 25 times EBITDA down to 11 to 12 times EBITDA. The pre-COVID average was 15 times. I'm just talking about the large cap Internet names. Mm -hmm. So at least you've taken a lot of the multiple risk out. Now we're focused, as we have been the last co quarter or two, on the estimates risks. And the one thing that's changed here is that you've seen a lot of cost measures taken by these companies. We've, you know, we've been talking about the uh, the hiring uh, uh, freezes, uh, the cuts, uh, the managing down of expenses from companies. We've heard this from Amazon. We've heard this from Google, uh, Facebook, some of the big names, Netflix, is, uh, et cetera, Lyfts, uh, names like that. So at the margin, that means that I think we still have negative. Uh, we're likely to have more negative provisions on estimates than positive uh, this quarter. We've had very high skew towards negative the last three quarters. I just don't think the skew will be as negative because the company starting about three months ago started taking cost uh, uh, measures. At the same time, Mark, um, within those three months and fairly recently over the last few weeks, we've been hearing from big economic bellwethers like FedEx, even a Samsung overseas. Um, the demand has caught even them off guard. It's weakened materially. Does that make you nervous? And why wouldn't that play out for some of the other big tech names? You've also got the startup space that could weigh on cloud, cloud computing revenue. Yeah, I think all of those uh, bellwether data points are cautious for tech. I mean, most of tech, not all of it, but there's some uh, places. Um, enterprise is going to be much better insulated, but nothing's perfectly insulated than consumer. So the consumer-oriented names like uh, like, a, like a Facebook, like a Netflix, like a, an Amazon, they're all going to face those same sort of uh, uh, economic tailwinds. We're looking for interesting opportunities. What I like about uh, Amazon, for example, is it already took uh, its cost medicine in the beginning of the year. It had unusually sharp cost spikes, and it's then worked against those. So I think you're going to start seeing improving margins. You see improving margins at Amazon in the back half of the year. I think the stock can uh, re-rate. Also, revenue growth is accelerating because you're finally beyond the tough comps for uh, Amazon. Facebook is trading at 10, 11 times gap earnings. I think they're going to be starting to really show you how low they're going to take their expense growth when they give their next year's guidance. And data points we saw last night, we put in our report this morning, they're seeing rising engagement. The market hmm. is super bared up on Facebook. If engagement is rising, that's a dramatic positive for that name. And then Netflix, guess, we like yeah. Netflix. It's our third pick because it's got the biggest catalyst out there in the Internet space, and that's the launch of an ad-supported offering. I guess Meta would have to trim that Metaverse spending a little bit to get there, but they've got uh, quite a bit to trim from and still spend billions. I, I wonder um, how much you're factoring in what's happening right now with inventory and how that might end up affecting the digital ad market. Right now, you've got a lot of big box names clearing out inventory, which I imagine you know they're spending on some digital ads uh, to target that. But then you've also got this D to C reaction to the iOS and targeting changes where maybe they're backing away from certain types of spend. If all of that is happening as the economy is slowing down, does that eventually mean an overall sort of uh, spending recession in digital ads, the likes of which we might not have seen in quite a while? Uh, I, I think I think your, your setup is right there, John. You, you know, though you did make me uh, uh, point out that uh, we're at Amazon uh, Prime Days, or I, they've come up with another name for it, but it's really Amazon Inventory Days. I think Amazon went to the market couple of months ago and said, you have excess inventory, sell them on our prime day, October 10th and 11th. So I, I'm just struck by the irony of that. Uh, but uh, but it's a smart move on their part. There's a lot of excess inventory. It's now available for sale on Amazon uh, today during prime days. And then going forward, yeah, there's an issue here um, with uh, you know ad advertising. We're seeing more and more signs of advertising uh, softening. I, I, so I think that's and it's going to continue to soften in the next year. The question is, have the numbers come down enough. Uh, you know, we've had pretty material cuts at Facebook. And to their credit, they've been very uh, specific about bringing down estimates. They've done it aggressively. Whether they're down enough or not, I don't know. But we're close, I think, to the bottom. Unless we have a really sharp, severe recession next year. I think a lot of the, uh, I know the multiple on Facebook 
Meta has been de-risked. I think the estimates have largely been de-risked, and the market's really focusing on the cost side, and the company's starting to act on that. That's kind of why I like the stock. And yes, I'd love to see him take that $10 billion a year in Metaverse spending and bring it down to $5 billion, and my guess is that the market would love that, too. I'm hoping that's what they'll <laughs> talk about in a few weeks. That would be a big cut. Um, but you're talking about all those value aspects that the street increasingly likes about Meta. Mark Mahaney, thanks so much for being with us.